Hey guys, what's up in this video? We're doing a full um, comparison benchmark of uh, the Snapdragon 800 power device over here, the Google Nexus 5, as you can see. So um, then we have uh, the um, octa core powered, Exus 5 octa core powered uh, here, Samsung Galaxy S5, as you can see, uh, ARM Universal 5.22. Um, this is the octa core one, Samsung G SMG 900H. And also over here, let's launch the app. We've got the uh, Geekbench 3. That's the universal benchmark app that we're going to be using up. So I did install on this phone too. Let's see, here we have. Now, as you can see, we have the Snapdragon 800 2.27 gigahertz uh, processor over here, LG Nexus 5 running Android 4.4.4, the latest version of the Android at the moment. Now, moving on to the Xperia Z2. Now, this is the Xperia Z2 over here, and I uh, installed um, Samsung Mart 11M9 over here, so it's not on stock ROM. So, over here, we have uh, the Snapdragon 801 Qualcomm clocked at 2.27 GHz. It's Snapdragon 801, and most of you people know it. Then we have the Qmobile Noir Z6. It's running the MT6592 um, octa core processor. Let's just zoom in. And as you can see, we have the RM MT6592 1.66 GHz processor. And we also just have device over here. And then we have the big daddy of them all, Apple A7. And this is the iPad Air. And now, um, I know it's a tablet, but still, I have the only Apple device that I have is uh, this one here. So let's compare it. And I'm pretty sure that the, you know, uh, I should have to compare the iPad Air, Apple A7, because it's the most powerful A7 chipset at the moment, which is only available in the iPad Air. So, okay. So let's try to film them all. Let's try to do the benchmark. Let's start it first on the iPad Air. Run benchmarks, run benchmarks, run benchmarks, and run benchmarks. Let's see which device is faster and better. Which device, let's see, scores more. Apple A7, um, MT6592 octa core. At, uh, the Melee 450 MP4 GPU. Here we have the Melee T628 GPU. Um, both devices you can see has Melee GPUs. Then we have the Adreno 330. Uh, then we have again the Adreno 330, but Snapdragon 800 and Snapdragon 801. Then we have a, over here, we have the Apple A7. Now, here we have the score of 2036 on the iPad Air. And the score over here, 2036. Oh, 2,576 on the Sony Xperia Z2. That's the good one. Uh, we have single score of 937 on the iPad Air. We have 1129. So, whoa, almost 3,000 on the S5 octa core. So, Galaxy S5 octa core is leading. Let's see. I have these two devices, Nexus 5 and the MT6592 octa core. 1.7 gigahertz running at the moment. Whoa, 2,518, and the Nexus 5 we have 975. Now the Nexus 5 is the least scoring device over here. Now I remember when I did uh, the uh, Geekbench test on the Nexus 5. I'm pretty sure that it it, it scored a good score, you know, above 2,000. But I'm pretty sure it's just because of the uh, the the the, the Android 4.4.4. Uh, I think it's the app is not optimized or stuff like that. But I'm pretty sure the Nexus 5 has more capability than this score over here. Uh, but if we see the overall um, benchmark over here, uh, the winner here is the Samsung Galaxy S5. The Galaxy S5 scores at 2,999, uh, which is even greater than the score of the Sony Xperia Z2, and this one over here. Uh, so this octa core even defeats this one over here, and even though this is not the true octa core, and still the S5 manages to beat uh, 
all of these devices and even the Apple A7 over here has a uh, 2036 score um, which is also then again low uh, it scored like 2300 but I'm pretty sure um, so that they are yeah all of these devices over here Nexus 5 S5 Z2 uh, this phone over here, MDC 592 power, QMOL Z2, uh, Z6, and this iPad Air. All these devices are capable of running the software at uh, you know without any kind of problem, and they are capable of running all the games at good FPS. So uh, yes, do give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video. Peace out and subscribe.